In this video, I'm going to talk about an app within Center of Excellence Starter Kit called as Power Platform Administration Planning App. Now, this app does not belong to any of the components like core components, nurture components, uh, ALM accelerator, or uh, you know all those training components. So, it it is an independent uh, app, which is like a I, I can say it's a standalone component within the COE Starter Kit. Now, it's a model-driven app. What it does is it lists out admin tasks carried out by an administrator. Okay, now in your organization, an admin, uh, when I say admin, is a power platform admin, uh, will be doing multiple tasks. Okay, now it lists out all the admin tasks, which is, you know, like, uh, can be done by an administrator. Now, these are generic tasks. You can add your own task. Like if in an organization, admin does some something different, uh, you can list out those tasks or for a start you can make use of the uh, the template which is provided by microsoft uh, to start with and then eventually build on top of it now this app helps in understanding behind the scenes work done by an administrator now what activity admin can do Ad admin can do a governance activity admin can do administrative activities admin can do security related activities uh, admin can do uh, training provision related activities so those all information can be uh, uh, like say found in this particular app now what is the use of that now if you configure it correctly then you will come to know where most of the time for your power platform administrator is spent now you can find high impact opportunities so that you can uh, suggest in your organization that okay admin is spending more time on this activity let me outsource this or let me automate this or i i can see some innovation opportunity over here and then let's uh, brainstorm on that particular action and let's try to automate something i can also plan my team structure like I can divide my task between admin, between a database uh, person, an app person, app maker, or a flow maker, or a BI uh, maker, or a bot maker, you know, so I can structure my team accordingly based on the stats received from this information, uh, informational dashboard. Now, this is an app. However, Microsoft CEO Toolkit also provides something called as a Power BI dashboard with regards to uh, Power Platform Administration Planning app. Now, all the data which you feed in this app will be presented as a report in a Power Platform Administration Planning dashboard. Now, as I mentioned to you, for a start, Microsoft will provide you something called a sample task data. You need to import that data within the app. And then once that data is imported, you can uh, further make some data related changes and the visual will display the uh, the automation opportunity or the innovation opportunity within your organization. You can import your own task or use the one provided by the toolkit. Now, let's jump into the demo. How do you trigger this app is, uh, again, uh, this is a bit different. You go to the solution and now go into Power Platform Administration Planning Solution. Okay. Now, in, in my organization, I have installed it. Okay, the version is this version, 1.3.2023. And if I go inside it, go into the objects, go into the app, you'll find one app, and the app is admin task. This is how the app look like. Now, initially, for first time, when you see this information, you won't see any task. What you need to do is like, you need to manually import this task using that spreadsheet, which I showed you. Now, what does that spreadsheet contains? The spreadsheet will basically contains those same information in a tabular form. Now, it contains product or service, okay? It contains name, it contains active task, it contains automation, frequency, and, and a whole bunch of columns, okay? Now, what essentially all these parameters are, I'll go through uh, this in the application itself. Uh, if I go into, say, one of the admin tasks, like what one of the admin tasks is add a user to a Dataverse role. So I can put the task description. If I need some more information, I can navigate to the Microsoft Docs, check whether this task has been done by an admin or not. Is it an active task? Whether it's an outsourced task, whether it's done by someone else, is there a chance for automation? How frequent 
frequently this task is done is it done ad hoc is it done daily weekly monthly you know uh, now quite obvious this task would be ad hoc now what are the anticipated task iteration you do in a year you know in a year i'll say i might be doing this 100 times so write that down what is the duration like how long does it take uh, does it take five minute or 50 minute or you know those sort of information you put it over here and what kind of experience is required whether do you need a basic knowledge introductory or is it l400 what is the core admin persona like who can do that whether it's an environment admin power platform admin product owner or a citizen admin now what category does it belongs to so these all information will help you in assessing what kind of resource you may need or what kind of specialized treasures you may need in the organization now this is all about uh, active admin task now what happens to all these things now these all things information when, once you uh, now fill up this information like say if i fill this add app to quarantine like i i do this uh, maybe uh, say 30 times a year okay and i need uh, expert knowledge for it if i save this information some changes are made and then once you execute the power platform admin planning v2 dashboard which is a power bi dashboard you will be presented with all these kind of statistics now i'm not going to cover all these things now because i have a separate video for it so in that separate video i will be covering each and every uh, tile details and but just to give you a gist like what it shows you is like it will show you based on some information like if you say you have four team members then based on that what is the total daily effort you may require what is the individual workload you may require and how many tasks you can outsource so those sort of information will be presented in a neat and a finer way in a power bi dashboard so that's it folks uh, thanks for watching uh, i'll see you in my next video